We've been working on the P1 for about three years now, and it's, uh, it's been a, a truly exciting project. It's, it's really challenging in as much as we're trying to deliver such a technologically advanced vehicle. That means from a performance point of view, we want this car to be magical. The challenge of that is packaging it in a body which can deliver that. And that in itself has given us the biggest problems so far. Uh, active rear wing is amazing. It extends up about 300 millimetres, but also moves rearwards as well. Um, so when it's fully extended, it's uh, the most rearward part of the car. It is fully active. Now, uh, we're using real Formula One technology here. If you actually look at the rear wing and put it into the context of a Formula One racing car, it's very similar. It's a double element rear wing. We have the DRS function on it, the drag reduction system on it, like you have on the Formula One car. At the press of a button, you, it, it flattens down and reduces the drag on the car. On Formula One though, apart from DRS, you can't have active aero. On our car, you can have active aero. So we have front flaps working in conjunction with the rear wing, which maintains the perfect balance of the vehicle. One of the last items to be confirmed on the P1 from a styling point of view was the bonnet. The bonnet opening, the exits to the central radiator. The graphic has been changed many times because it was the one area of the car that we really couldn't agree with. And so the final decision came down to Ron Dennis himself and the tick um, and the nostrils as they've, uh, as they've become known as have come directly from Ron. We naturally will be judged against the F1. The F1 was an iconic car. We hope that the P1 will be an iconic car. It has all the ingredients to be an iconic car, but we can't, we can't stand here today and say it will be an iconic car. We can't judge that. Only the owners and, and the press can judge that for us.